Good afternoon, Sir Kishinovsky. Is yeah. that right? Yeah. Okay. So, can you please uh, narrate to us what happened? Right. So, you, you, you told our staff that you are demanding for the return of your money. Yeah. That's, okay. that's all I want. Uh, just uh, if you can pay me back. Okay. Uh, And you are demanding it from a Filipina? Yeah. Okay. Can you narrate to us how you met this Filipina? Yeah. So... So first we connected on on Tinder. I think most people know Tinder. Yeah, a dating uh, application. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, and then we met in person. Met many times. We became uh, close. We even traveled together. We um, and uh, we got into a relationship. And then. Uh, ah, so you've seen so, her in person. Yeah, yeah, many times. You've yeah, met yeah, she, here she, in the Philippines. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And she, yeah, I I was already here. Uh, we met many times. She met my friends also. My friends know her. She seemed very genuine and uh, honest, but uh, sometimes uh, that's not true. All right. So, so yeah. you've got a name for this uh, Filipina. What's yeah. The, what's her name? Bella D. But I, I don't know if it's her, her real name. Uh, because so she also... So I when, every time I have, had to make a transaction, I had to send to what she told me was her cousin, uh, Giselle Barbaran. Uh, oh. That's a different name. All right. So the name is Bella D. D. Okay. And uh, is that also her name in her dating application? No. There, there it was actually uh, Yun H Y U N. That was, but that was a long time ago. I, I don't know if she's still on there or, or what. Right. But, so, but, but for now we are uncertain if her real name is actually Bella D. Yeah. Or, you, have, you don't have any identification cards with you. No, not of her. Maybe, maybe, maybe her real name is Jocelle Barbaran, or the, she told me it's her cousin that I had J to make. Jocelle Barbaran. Bar Barbaran, yeah. Okay. What, uh, what made you say that uh, her name may be Jocelle Barbaran? Because uh, every time I had to make a transaction, she said she didn't have G cash. So every time I had to make a transaction, I had to make it. To this name, so so it might be the same person. Uh, All right. So you're yeah. telling us you transferred the amount to a GCash account. Yeah, with the and name. that GCash account is under the name Josel Barbaran. Yeah. Okay. Now you are telling us this may be the name of your girlfriend because you you have not you have, you are unsure of her name and this is the only account where your money went. Yeah. So maybe, or maybe there they are two people conspiring to to scam people. Okay. I don't. I But don't sir, know. you mentioned earlier that you have given a total of four hundred five thousand pesos. Yeah. Okay. What was the money for? Uh, for um, so I lent her the money because uh, there was different reasons, but but the main reason was that her dad was sick. He was in the hospital and needed. Medicine, you know. But was it clear I, to her that you are lending her the yeah, money, or and you are not just uh, gifting uh, her? No, it was money. Very, it was very clear. She often said, "Yeah, she'll pay me back on Tuesday. She'll pay me back then and then." But there was always then there was always something new coming up, some new excuses, and and uh, so I was just trying to be a nice guy, helping someone out, you know, uh, right. that needed so, help. So you came here, you just w want the return of your money. Yeah. Okay. Do you still communicate with her? No, I haven't heard from her since I asked for uh, for the money back on specific dates. Like, But when she, was the last time you talked to her? The last time I communicated that I wanted the money back was like maybe a week and a half, two weeks ago. All oh, right. Yeah. Okay, uh, Miss Bella D. Yes, hello. Hi, uh, Miss Bella D. No, do you confirm? No, the kayo po yung girlfriend being referred yes. to by Mr. Adam Kashinovsky. Okay. So, I just want to confirm that, uh, yeah, I lent it, and he lent it on me, but it was like, hindi siya nag-message sa akin. You, you didn't even message me, and now you are there. Okay, I'm, so... Uh, you should talk to me first. So, Ma'am Bella D., you, you, you confirmed that you received the money. Yeah. Okay, but uh, now, now you're, not, you're telling us that there was no demand uh, from no, Mr. Adam Koshinovsky. I I have uh, I have the messages. I even sent them to. Uh, I asked you, but you you didn't reply me. I asked you, you if text if we could. Me again. You should text me again. I was waiting for your reply for for setting up the payment plan that we talked about for a specific date and and specific amounts. That's all I just wanted. Okay, then then text me again. Message me again. 
and the, the the thing that you want like the specific date and something like you know what is happening to me and now you were there you should talk about this and okay uh mom mom bella d no? now that mr adam is here with us he is demanding for the return of his money can, no he, can you can you assure him or can you give yes. us a date of when can you return his 405,000 pesos I just need the the computation first, and then we'll talk about that. We'll we'll fix this. We'll talk about this. No, can, can you not give us a date, ma'am? Of when can you pay? I, I can't give the date first. I just need to. I, I need to see the computation. And no, but but you told earlier that you are confirming having received this amount of money. So for now, maybe we don't need the computation. We just need money. the date. I I confirm that I received some money, but. I didn't have the computation yet, so I don't know how much is it. Do you have any uh, receipts, sir? Yeah, I have all the receipts. I already sent okay, to, to your staff also. Okay. And, uh, mm -hmm. ma'am, we, we would like to uh, settle once and, and for all. No? Is your name really Bella D? Yes. Okay. So, ma'am, Mr. Kashinovsky just wanted his uh, money back. Okay. All right, no problem, no worries. Okay. Just talk to me, message me. Miss Bellady, who is this Giselle Barberan? That was my cousin. And this is your cousin whose GCash account received the entire amount? Yes. Okay. There's, there's also one other thing uh, that your staff found out, that uh, the, the address that she told me she was staying in is not really her address. I was there, but she booked it per night. That's what your staff found out. Uh, so, so you don't even know where she actually yeah, resides? Yeah, what, what barangay she stays in or anything because it was it was not correct. That's what your staff found out also. Okay. But sir, I, I would like to ask, how many times or how frequent do you usually give Miss Bella the m amount of money? It depends on uh, when when she, she asked for it. Sometimes it's there were days in a row sometimes it was after a week so it, it, of, it of all the amount that he has she has borrowed from you was there any instance where she already paid back any of those amount no so there was not no and she also there was one transaction that uh, that she asked for um and she told me that it was not received but i have proof that it was actually received uh, okay okay that's it um just give me all the transaction of it and we'll talk about the, the dates and just message me. What are you doing, Vigor? I, I did message you. I wanted a payment plan, but you didn't reply me. Yeah, but you should understand me for now. Okay. You, sh you should also... me again. You should I messaged you a while ago. No, you didn't reply me after I asked for a specific date and amount. Then you should message me again. You just message me. The, the, the long message and then that's it you didn't even message me again it, you didn't even try to message is, me again is it my response you should have uh, mom bella okay so uh given that you there are actually amounts that mr kishinovsky have sent to you and let's just say you no know, you will be needing the computation but based on the documents that he has presented us you owe him at least uh hundreds of th uh, thousands of pesos so Okay. Can you commit or can you promise him at least, not for now, because you yes, cannot give us a yes, definite yes. date. Baka naman you can give her a, a, a portion, a partial amount for now, if you cannot give us an, a, a specific date where you can fully pay. Tell him to message me and we'll talk about it. Okay, so it, it appears to me that you cannot really give a date, no, Miss uh, Bella? But are you, I, I will, will you be able to pay him? Now. I can't give a date now. That's why we need to talk. Talk about what, ma'am? Talk about the, the payment plan that he wanted. Sir, you, you mentioned of a payment plan. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't have to be everything at once. I just, you know, little by little, what she can. I, I even uh, said that she could decide what date and, and the amount. Because I, I, I just, yeah, little by little, it's fine. So before I talk to the police authorities uh, in the country, well, for now, you, you have heard from your girlfriend that... Uh, she needed a computation. So we, we will just present her all these documents that you have given us. Okay? We wanted her to provide us a definite time when she can pay 
these 405,000 pesos pero it appears that she cannot give the give the date but at least we got the admission that she actually received money from you yeah and that based on your testimony on your statement there was never an instance where she already paid you back yeah okay Correct. all right so we will facilitate uh, your communication with Mam Beladi, it would be advisable if you can come up with a payment plan signed by both parties. Yeah. All right? So it is a promise, it is a commitment by uh, from Mam Beladi that she will actually pay the amount and within those timetables. Okay? Yeah. Nasa linya na po natin, uh, si Police Captain Sylvester Lial. At ini. Okay. Magandang hapon po, Police Captain Sylvester. Uh, magandang hapon din po at sa mga nakikinig po at nanonood sa inyong programa. Sir, uh, nandito po kasi sa studio natin isa pong foreigner, si Sir Adam Kishinovsky and meron po siyang uh, naging girlfriend na Filipina. Okay? At apparently, okay pinah- pinahiraman po niya ng 405,000 pesos to be exact. Yung kanya pong Filipina girlfriend. Dito kasi po sa uh, mga comment section no, ng lahat po ng ating mga viewers, sinasabi nila, uh, madalas po na nagiging scam no? or ma- may scheme or modus po yung mga ganyan, baka po uh, makatulong tayo sir no? kung ano po yung mga ma- ma- maipapayo po ninyo sa mga ganitong klase ng mga transaksyon. Opo, uh, sa mga foreign national, palamak po ang mga ganyan ngayon sa scam natin. Ngayon po, uh, para po malaman din natin yung sa kung ano man po yung ipafile natin na kaso, maaari po na papuntahin po natin sa ating uh, uh, himpilan dito sa Southern District Anti-Cyber Crime Team sa Tagig po, sir. Actually po, sa mga foreigners, meron po tayo yung sinatawag dyan po is yung love scam love o scam. yung romance scam po. Opo, attorney. Okay. Uh, pa- pagdating sa mga foreigner, uh, mga nagpapanggap na pwede nilang uh, papaibigin, mga ganon, lulokohin, tapos eventually, magpapadala na ng pera for business, mga ganun po. Pero possible din po na itong case natin is similar po doon sa mga love scam na sinasabi natin. At okay. romance or romance scam. Sige po, sige po. Uh, police captain, ang mangyari po dito, uh, pag-uusapin po muna namin kasi may commitment naman earlier si Ma'am Bella din na maibabalik po niya yung pera na naibigay nga po sa kanya ng ating uh, complainant. Pero in the okay, meantime, po. para lang din po umusad ang ating investigation at total marami na rin naman kayong inimbestigan na ganitong mga modus, uh, we will advise rin no? si Sir Adam Kishinovsky if gugustuhin okay, niya attorney, okay. na lumapit na rin sa inyong tanggapan. Yes po, attorney. Uh, welcome po sila sa aming tanggapan. Okay. Dito so, sa Southern District Anti-Cyber Crime Team sa Tagi. Okay. So Sir Adam, I have just talked to the Chief of the Anti-Cyber Crime Division of the... Southern Police District, okay, and he confirmed that this scheme is prevalent, especially uh, victimizing our foreigners in the country. Now, in fact, our police has c- come up with a term for this. It's called love scam or yeah. romance scam, yeah. okay, wherein they will engage with a romantic or whatever relationship with a foreigner and they will start uh, asking for, for money. Mm. So we are not describing or we are not foreclosing the possibility that you fall in this kind of uh, scam. Mm. But nevertheless, uh, the police captain is open if you would like to uh, commence an investigation against Miss Bella D, we can assist you in filing the necessary uh, complaint and coming up with the, the, the processes that will be uh, necessary. Okay. All right? Yeah, well, it depends if... She, I. If she pays me back, you know, if, if she pays me back, then... Then well and good. Fine. Yeah, that's all, right. that's, that's all I want. Uh, Miss Bella? Yes? Uh, do you have any uh, message for Sir Adam? He just he, he just wants his money back. Yeah, I'm sorry about what's happening and you know what happened to me, so I'm sorry about that, that you need to go there just for this. So, okay, we'll just need to settle this and message me. And we'll figure it out. Yeah, okay. If uh, if if we can figure out uh, a way you can pay me back, then perfect. All okay. right. Okay, uh, Adam, we will accompany you uh, to Miss Bella. And uh, again, we will also accompany you to uh, Police uh, Captain Sylvester Liel. Okay, and uh, Miss Bella, 
Yeah. Okay, wag niyo pong ibaba yung linya. Kausapin ko po kayo. Ayun, mag-English na tayo. <laughs> Miss Bella, wag niyo pong ibaba yung linya. Kakausapin po namin kayo, ma'am, ha? Salamat okay. po. Okay, uh, Mr. Adam, thank you very much. And we'll thank talk you. to you, sir, the other booth. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.